Private Wine came here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts, and no, I haven't gone crazy. I actually saw a napkin. <laughs> this is what happens to me. I'm out grocery shopping or whatever it is. I saw a napkin that had um, an image on it, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to try that. So here it is. This is just a regular, um, I think they call them cocktail napkins, and I wanted to try to write on it with both my silhouette and my Cricut, just that's it here, and to see what the difference in the, the clarity and, um, you know, what works better. So first of all, I was thinking if I, if I did this, was this going to rub off on, on my face? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you go to wipe your face or your hands, are you going to get ink on it? I, I don't know if it would happen if it's wet. So we're going to try that more towards the end of the video. All right. So where there's a wish, there's a way. I found this saying on the silhouette and I used the black uh, pen part. I don't know if there's markers for the silhouette. That's what I used. And then, so I have the frost colored ones, which is the gold, the brown, the silver, and the white, which that would be cute for that new chalkboard trend that's out. And then I also have the full set, the 24, and they're in all different colors. So I chose the black just for the contrast purposes. And that's how this turned out. Now, um, it's tricky taking it off the mat. And the way I did it, just so that it wouldn't tear, is I put it on the mat, folded this way. I didn't open it up completely. Let's see if I can get that open here. I didn't do it like this. I did it like this. And you see it kind of bleeds through a tiny bit. But if you're actually making something like this for a cocktail party or something, it wouldn't matter because people aren't going to open that up and go, oh, look, it bled through. So anyway, um, you know, you could put flowers on this in different color, maybe uh, get a white cocktail napkin. This is the only one I had, so I only had yellow, but uh, you could put flowers on it. Um, how about a wedding? You could do, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith and then their date of their wedding down here in the corner. Um, so that is actually from the silhouette. Moving on. This is from the... Cricut and I just used the black marker and I set it on low for everything. Now the way this works is it actually just sits down into the little holder of the Cricut and this is how it turned out. This was from Phrases, Cricut cartridge. It's, it's, a, it's bolder so there may be something that you want to do that that is bolder you know like you could even do the pretty flowers. These are the two um, Cricut markers that I bought a long time ago. And I keep forgetting about these. These are actually pretty awesome. Uh, especially if you want to, and I've done this before, I wish I, I, have, I would have pulled it out. There, I, have, I did a layout where I printed the phrase with these instead of using like cutout letters. So, and it turned out good. So I wish I would have actually showed you that. But that's from the markers. Now, moving on. This is from the Cricut pens. And I have in my possession regular and neon. I have metallic, I have glitter, I have pastel, and I have swirls. And I don't know if that's all of them, but I don't need to buy any more. So I used, this is the holder that you put your pen in and you have to have this if you wanna use these pens. That's it right there. And I used the regular black just because the other ones are black as well. And I can just show you real quick. I, this is not meant to be a tutorial, but you just take your pen out, remove your lid, slide it in, and then this part goes in the same way as your blade would. See, there's a little indentation right there. You're gonna slide it in, and then you'll uh, put the little metal thing over and you twist it and you do it, close it like that. And um, these work really well if you're also wanting to write on a card. Set that aside. Set that aside. So that's how that turns out. 
Now, for both the Silhouette and the Cricut mat, my mats were um, used. They weren't brand new. So I'm telling you, do not put this on a brand new Cricut mat because it will tear as you pull it up. But this one didn't. And I'm saying as long as you keep it folded like this, you'll be fine. But don't open it up and put it on your mat like that. Okay, so how fun is that? Um, I just wanted to take a minute to share this um, discovery that I made or this is something that I thought about doing and to show you the difference between the Silhouette pens and the Cricut markers and the Cricut pens. So that's that. All right, if you have any questions, just to let me know, um, have fun with it. Make some flowers on it or write on it or, you know, whatever you want to do. So, all right, thanks all for watching. Have a great day.